Anna, back here in Spain, first things first, how nice is it to be home? It's very, very nice to be home. Um, I enjoy playing at home. It's always a pleasure playing in front of the Spanish crowd and yeah, it's very nice to be here. Well, you mentioned the crowd. I know obviously you were victorious last year at the Madrid Ladies Open and it looked like you thrived off the crowd's energy. Um, just talk to us about that. Yeah, um, it's still uh, something that it's a tournament I'll never forget just because it was like a, like I was playing but then the crowd was being part of, of the game of the tournament, the victory. Um, I always enjoy sharing everything with the with the crowd. So hopefully this this week um, I get to experience something similar. And who's going to be coming out to, to support you this week? My parents are coming. My brother and his girlfriend. Uh, my coach, my manager, my mental coach, <laughs> and hopefully local players from here. And just tell us about the say. Then we we saw a photo of you earlier from. I think it was about 2013 with a certain Spanish legend. So we know you're familiar with the course. Just tell us about that. I mean, I step up on the range and then today on the golf course. And the only thing I could think of was the tournament I played 10 years ago. And, and you know, sharing my time here with Ola Zabal and Miguel Angel and Nazara and Nacho Garrido. It was amazing. So today, Yes, I had to practice and, and, you know, get the info that I need for the tournament. But at the same time, I was enjoying the walk and remembering great memories that I had here with them. And in terms of the course, how do you think it's going to suit your game this week? Um, pretty well. I mean, uh, Spanish golf course, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I think it's quite short and then it has some challenges into the greens just because the shape of the greens and stuff. Also the, the tee shots I think are challenging also. So yeah, I mean, I think it'll fit a bunch of players, but hopefully I get all the secrets necessary to finish on top of the leaderboard. And since we last spoke, you've gone to the top of the rankings in the race to Costa del Sol. How much confidence does that give you knowing you're now number one? The same confidence, to be honest. Um, I think my team and I do a really good job in you not know, focusing on the ranking. I mean, that's something that's there and obviously it's a good reference uh, to know that we're going in the right direction. But at the same time, uh, we try to build confidence out of practice and out of plenty of other things, not just the ranking. So, I mean, obviously it's, it's a good thing, but I try not to focus too much on that. And you mentioned focus there. I know, Anna, you love to bring the energy on the course, you love to have fun, but I have noticed in the last month or two there is sort of a new Anna, a focus Anna, you know, we know you have your targets, you have the Solheim Cup in mind, you have the race across the other side in mind. Is that fair to say and would you say your mindset's changed at all? Definitely. Um, I'm not sure how long ago, but it's been maybe four months or three that I'm starting to focus on myself. Sometimes I play golf and I try to do very well, uh, not for me, but you know, like you said, to finish the one, to play Solheim Cup, to just to be out there. And I realize that's not real. That's not who I want to be. I, I, I want to focus on me, my happiness, and what I enjoy, which is playing golf. And if that means winning and being top one and playing Solheim Cup, then great. But Basically, becoming a player that does not depend on a score or a win or a ranking to be happy. So I would say I'm a different Anna and I hope this process keeps going for the rest of my life. You know, you've had three runner-up finishes this season. So what's the game plan this week to get you go one better and to get the win? Keeping everything very, very simple. I wish to win. So I think keeping it very simple, you know, not trying to put too much effort on, on winning, just one step at a time, taking it easy and trusting that my game is there and this could be my week and if, if it's not this one, then it might be the next one.